As you go through training, one of the questions that is probably gonna be asked in your mind is, how am I gonna know when my dog is really conditioned to wearing a muzzle? And that's an evolution because you're gonna watch your dog's attitude. As you go through the training and you hold your muzzle up and say, muzzle, and your dog runs up and jams his nose in, that's a really good sign. That doesn't mean that he's gonna walk around and play games in muzzles, but it does mean we always look at our dogs and how they act shortly after the muzzle is strapped on their head. What's their attitude? Do they have a happy attitude? Do they walk around and get excited like you see Carmen's dog, Cy, do? There's a dog that's comfortable and conditioned his muzzle. We also look at our dog when we take it for walks. Are they dropping their head, shaking their head, trying to get the muzzle off? That's a dog that's not ready to be considered fully conditioned to the muzzle. One of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest signs of being conditioned to muzzle is when you have your dog out for a walk, if they'll go and pee and poop with a muzzle on, they're comfortable in that muzzle. And then finally, we don't recommend, as I said, putting a dog, leaving a dog alone with a muzzle on. But we do expect a dog to stay in a crate when we're there, when we're monitoring them. And we like to see what the dog acts like when we put them in a crate in muzzle. If they sit there and rest, we know they're comfortable. If they're dropping their head down, trying to get the muzzle off, they're not fully conditioned in muzzle yet. So there's not one single thing that's gonna prove that your dog is conditioned to a muzzle. There's a series of things, and you're going to know it if you make all these little tests and you're aware as you go through your training program. This is the kind of attitude that we'd like to see when we put a muzzle on a conditioned dog. In this video, we're going to show you how we sized Sai for a new muzzle. Sai is a four-year-old German Shepherd, and Carmen is one of our best friends. This muzzle is too small. Carmen used the, the same concepts on conditioning Sai to a muzzle when he was young. So you see how easy it is for her to fasten the buckle, put one muzzle on, take another muzzle off. There's no confrontation here. But sai has got a big head, and it took several sizes to figure out what muzzle fits him better. And again, this muzzle is again, it's a different size, but it's too small because his nose is riding or rubbing on the front of the muzzle. That just doesn't work. I guess I show this video to explain how difficult it is to size a muzzle correctly when you don't have the dog in front of you. And that's why I always recommend it's maybe a better idea for a new dog owner to buy two or three muzzles after they do their measuring and then send one or two of them back as long as they're brand new. Again, this one's too small. See, his nose is right on the front of the muzzle. Doesn't bother him at this point, but it's too small. Now, take a look at the eye line. When he looks at us, see how far the muzzle is down his nose? This muzzle doesn't fit him either. Here's an example of a dog that has a wide head, a big head. The muzzle fits on the nose and the eye line, but the muzzle itself is not wide enough for the dog's head. This is as good as it gets to see a dog that's really conditioned to a muzzle and likes getting it on. Again, this muzzle is the wrong size. It's too narrow. And then finally, after a number of tries, we got this muzzle, which is a correct fit for this dog. We post our social media videos to our website, Learberg.com, a week or two before we post them to our YouTube channel. These early release videos can be found on the front page of our site or by going to the site 
and selecting video on demand from the toolbar and then select free videos. Thank you for watching.